What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we have a whole new Deep Oaken Weekly patch to open up with, and I'm excited to show you everything I can. Let's get right into it. Just Karita players, we're up right now, and here's why. So we actually got a new mantra for Just Karita that's fairly interesting and cool for combos. This mantra, Karita Leap, is essentially dynamic entry from Naruto. You aerial kick your target and slam into them, and it's supposed to be a combo starter. It's pretty fun to see another approaching tool for for this fighting style and I'm excited to use it in my builds. Besides this, Just Karita got a weapon and you know what that means. So the anklets of Alsen are some minimalistic leg anklets that are honestly pretty fun to mess around with. Stat wise, it adds basically nothing except 10% chip damage but we get in chance. So how long have we waited for this to be available since its release? Like I have no idea what in chance will work and what's the best option but this is seriously awesome and you need to check it out if you want to try out Just Karita. In Deep Oaken right now, you can play sea shanties with your friends. Did you hear that correctly? You can make a band and play songs with everyone, and that is insane. Basically, there will be different songs to obtain and different instruments that each play a segment from your specific shanty. When you start playing a shanty, those around you playing the same music can join in with their selected instrument, and it syncs up, so they all sound differently separated. But if everyone plays the same song with different instruments, it all works together perfectly. For for example, here's what it sounds like with different instruments together. Within a certain range, you should be able to walk right up, start playing that song and it will join in, all synced, playing that song as normal. Supposedly, the more people you have, you know, playing the same song, it will give you buffs out of combat, such as, you know, staving off hunger, you won't be losing hunger, or I guess thirst, and that's cool. So this is a whole new system that makes guilds and sailing a fun new experience, but there's multiple songs and multiple instruments to obtain. Right now, at least, we have the trumpet, the accordion, violin, some sort of drum, and they are all pretty nice and there's also a few songs to obtain the song you want to play you can read the respective books and buy the instruments at different locations there should be more options in the future but we have a good starting selection moving on to some balancing we have some well needed changes that I think are pretty interesting so one poll that was voted on earlier last week had to do with shield posture in the past shields would multiply your posture making it almost impossible to be posture broken without an insta guard break or something crazy crazy, and this would also apply to Exhaustion Strike, removing a percentage of posture gained on how much you had, and seriously, it was just too much. Instead, now, all posture gained from shields is a flat additive bonus instead of a multiplier from your existing posture. This should be more balanced, shields perform better on regular posture builds, and high posture builds get nerfed a bit, so we'll see what happens. We also got some adjustments for win players as well, so check this out. Phantom Step, the Ghost Path mode activation cost has been lowered which is great for the feel of this entire ability nobody was really using this mode to do anything before this patch and now we can phantom gauge drain is also lowered because it was so much more efficient to just play without using the mode and yeah this is good that's all for right now but there's more to check out and large additions in the future weeks to come so expect that if you enjoy exclusive update contents like this make sure to like and subscribe because we're almost at 70k subs Thanks again, it's punching time.